Adepticon has been one of those big events I've been hearing about since I first started getting into the community aspect of this hobby. It's always been a far off convention where thousands of nerds from around the world come together to celebrate the hobby in their own ways. While I've attended Historicon and Nova, Adepticon is the last big East Coast tabletop con I hadn't made it to. This past March, I headed off to scenic Schaumburg, Illinois with my buddy and 40k Badcast co-host Dan to throw down on the tables of Adepticon. For those who don't know, Adepticon is a huge tabletop gaming convention focused around Warhammer. It's got huge tournaments, dozens of smaller events, a massive vendor hall, and even healthy support for games beyond Warhammer 40k and Age of Sigmar, whether that's the bevy of historical games you'll find going on in some of the back halls and conference rooms, or bespoke tables for event games like Space Hulk. We were there for 40k though, and my Heresy Ultramarines were in tow. We got in a day early and got to check out the main convention hall, where they were still setting up all the tables and vendor booths. In just a few hours, these places would be bursting at the seams with gamers and shoppers. The first night, after picking up my swag bag with a borderline irresponsible amount of cool stuff, Dan and I headed to the Games Workshop Studio preview event. They asked us not to film it, and I'm sure there are plenty of pictures and videos of it online already, but they showed off a few upcoming changes for Warhammer 40k, some cool community interaction stuff with Age of Sigmar, a funny video or two, and Warhammer Underworld's Shadespire. The real surprise was getting to play Shadespire after the panel. Dan and I got to play a few rounds, and it was an absolute blast. It's got a deck building aspect to it that's pretty interesting, and it's the kind of low buy-in, small scale, balanced and tactical game people have been asking GW to put out for years. It's clearly meant to compete with skirmish games like Malifaux, and I found myself thinking about it often during the week. My hope is that they release more warbands down the line beyond just the Stormcast and Bloodbound guys, but we'll see where it goes. One note on display boards. As you'll see from any of the footage shown, there are some gorgeous boards with some great looking armies out there. However, since Dan and I didn't have room in our bags for our boards, we had to scrounge in the garbage and dumpster dive for our boards like 40k crust punks. I've got a solution for next year, but it definitely cost me on painting points in a few games. Thursday was when Adepticon began in earnest, and I got to play in the Gentleman's 40k tournament. This was a series of thousand point games, with just over two hours for each game, plus an hour between rounds. Part of the intro packet was a shot of liquor and a little skull shot glass with a custom deck of tactical objective cards. Some of these were pretty typical, but some gave you bonus points for complimenting your opponent's army or forging the narrative. Those definitely set the tone for the event. Dan and I joked that we'd play against each other here, and what do you know, we got paired in the first game. His Steel Legion were a tough match for my mostly anti infantry Ultramarines, so I lost that one. We still had a fun game though, it took about an hour with plenty of time to get lunch and beers at the bar and hang out in the Forge World line. My second game was against a pretty drunk but very friendly dude with a nice Raven Guard army, and the table was great. He beat me on objectives, even though I had his army down to just a few models by game's end. Super friendly guy even bought me a beer after the game, which was actually something you could do for a bonus point in the event. My third game was kind of a blur, but it was a bit of a weak finish to the event. I played against a 3rd edition Demon Hunter style army, which looked pretty cool, but was mostly just my guys hiding from Valkyries and his guys being out of range. Neither of us had a lot of fun, I don't think, as it just wasn't a great matchup. The prizes for the event were all given by raffle as far as I recall, so I got lucky and walked away with the old 4th edition Space Marine Captain Kit, one of my favorite models. It was a great event, and one I'm definitely planning on attending next year. Saturday was the 30k friendly, which had probably the highest level of painting and modeling aptitude in the entire convention. Unfortunately, it had the typical problem with friendly events, where not everyone is on the same page. They only accepted lists a few minutes before the event, and with very little in the way of comp or restrictions, you got some real beat face lists in the mix. Game 1 was against an Alpha Legion player, who was very friendly and had a super thematic force, but with his guys coming in piecemeal, I was able to beat him pretty soundly and table him on turn 6. Game 2 was against a great Emperor's Children army that really focused on the beauty aspect of the army, instead of the crazy Slaneshi stuff, and I loved his paint scheme. His list was a bit tougher than mine, but while it was an uphill battle, I feel like I played one of my best games of Warhammer ever against him. He beat me on the last turn after I made a tactical blunder and he capitalized on it, but it was a great game and I'd gladly play him again. Unfortunately, my third game was against a player as unfriendly as his list, and the less said about that game, the better. Fortunately, I got the bad taste of that game out on the next day when I played against Carl Tuttle from the Independent Characters. He brought up his word bears to fight my ultramarines, and we threw down the classic Battle of Kalf grudge match. 
My dice were red hot, and I seized an early lead. I was making saves left and right and dishing out a lot of damage, and Carl could never quite bounce back from it, even once his demons started showing up. A bunch of our friends were around watching the game, and even though it wasn't exactly a close game, hanging out with my buddies and throwing down a great table with two well-painted armies is always a good time. At some point every day, I found my way over to the dealer area, which, thankfully, smelled more like laser cut MDF than typical nerd funk. There was so much stuff to see and buy, from the classic long lines at Forge World to obscure minis for games I'd never heard of. Some folks were there showing off some incredible dioramas and displays too. I couldn't even tell you if they were selling anything, I just remember how beautiful this stuff was. Needless to say, whatever your taste in miniatures gaming is, there was something for you here. It kind of shocked me how much laser cut MDF stuff has popped up in the past few years, and while it's not all created equal, I'm glad to see so much diverse stuff being sold. While the big tournaments will never be my thing, as that's just not how I approach the game, it was cool walking around seeing all the cool displays. I was actually impressed at the level of hobby I was seeing there. I'm used to hyper-competitive events being full of grey plastic and three color minimums, but for the most part, these armies look gorgeous. The warning on the last day for tables to stow away their liquor bottles was pretty telling though. A lot of folks use events like Adepticon as an excuse to go on a four day bender, and while I love me some adult beverages, I didn't want to end up like the dude in the 30k friendly who got stretchered out at 3pm on a Friday because he'd passed out in his own vomit. For the most part, everyone was pretty cool though. When you get a bunch of people passionate enough about their hobby to dress up in homemade costumes or engage in impromptu WOG contest three days into the con, it's hard not to find the positivity infectious. In between all this was my favorite part of Adepticon, which was the socializing. Hanging out with friends new and old, drinking maybe slightly too much at the hotel bar, and getting to throw down with a few of them on the tabletop was a highlight of the con. After all, this is a social hobby, and the game's only as fun as the person you're playing with. This is why I'm glad I didn't overschedule myself, and I stuck to only one event at most on any given day. If you're finding your way to a big event like this, I'd recommend doing something similar, just to leave time for hanging out, hitting the vendor hall, and leaving time for eating and drinking around it. So if you're planning on going to Adepticon, or really any big event, I say do it. No matter what kind of game you like to play, be it competitive, narrative, or what have you, there will probably be an event for you. It's a great opportunity to make new friends and meet up with old ones, and even if Schaumburg isn't the prettiest place in the world, the only scenery that matters is the scenery on the tabletop. Despite a few hiccups, I had a great time, and I'm already stoked to go next year. Hopefully, I'll see you there. Thanks for watching my first event overview. I'm a little sick if you could probably tell, but I wanted to put this out as fast as I could. I'm hoping to do more of these for Nova or whatever else I attend, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the format. Subscribe or support me on Patreon if you'd like, and I'll see y'all next time.